I'm Phil Buxbaum, and I'm uh, a professor at Stanford University. My research is in atomic physics for the most part. My real interest right now is in ultrafast and strong field interactions with matter and also with the vacuum. The vacuum almost has, in physics, it almost has a philosophical significance. That is, is it a thing? because it has certain properties that denote emptiness, you might think it doesn't have any charge, but it's not really true. Uh, if we uh, measure the vacuum in the right way, we see it does have charges, and that it really does count as a plasma. Whenever a vacuum uh, appears to have a particle in it, it must therefore also have another particle where all of those labels are reversed, so the net total amount of that quantity, those all have to add to zero. Positrons are special because they are the antiparticle to the electron, and the electron is special because it is the lightest stable particle. In order to pull the electron-positron pairs out of the vacuum, you have to appreciate that they don't last for very long. During that time, my laser that has an electric field in it can be producing a force on that electron and positron pair, forcing them apart. So it's really a collision experiment, the collision between a laser beam and an electron beam. Then, we just watch what nature does. It turns out that special relativity and the vacuum itself do the rest for us. And my ability to calculate the energy density of the vacuum means that I can actually also make real predictions about how often I'll find charged particles in the vacuum if I look and how to interrogate them. Where's the real potential for discovery science? It's really in the plasma regime. It's very hard to look back behind uh, the time when recombination of electrons and protons happened in the early universe that created the transparent version of the universe that we now have. This is a new kind of a plasma that will tell us about what happened during the very, very few, you know, we're talking about much less than attoseconds, uh, where stuff was actually happening inside uh, the vacuum uh, target area. And so that's, I think, where the discovery potential is. The world can be understood by us. That is, we actually have the intellectual capacity to understand what's going on. If we think about it, explore, investigate, do experiments, that's what makes you a physicist. And I understand that there are many career opportunities. And from my point of view, if you really want to be successful in this field, they'd better be secondary. This kind of science is a labor of love. Almost the only reason to do this is because you love it so much you can't help yourself. Anytime I say that to a student and they react in a certain way, I know that they're a physicist too. <laughs>